Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to dump the fro. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. I wanted to do this video because I think it's really important. I see a lot of things I recently put on Instagram and kind of, it was from the Pan Am TV show when that was actually on and it was showing how people actually dressed for travel. And I love, I always love going back, <laughs> going back into the decades and saying, wow, that was really, that was really a great time. Little did we know that people now just wear whatever they think is okay for travel. I have to tell you, when I was traveling a lot for corporate, when I was in cosmetics and everything, I mean, I was on four different planes by Thursday. I almost felt like I was a flight attendant. It was actually quite funny because sometimes I was mistaken for a flight attendant, especially on Southwest because I was on it every single day practically during the week. So I called it kind of like my little bus, but I was mostly traveling with like pharmaceutical reps and everybody that was doing the same territory as I was. I just kind of, I used to take pictures and I used to send it to my friends and be like, really, is this happening? whether it was flip-flops for guys with their feet on the wall in the plane, or it was the tank tops where, you know, I'm sitting there and he's trying to put up his luggage and his hairy armpits in my face. I mean, these things just like really like pushed me over the edge. That's the place to see it is really at the airport, just with just everybody. And then when it comes to mature women, there's this whole like frumpy, like not caring or just, you know, getting into this rut. And I really want to pull you out of the rut because it doesn't matter what size you are. You can look amazing and there's just certain tweaks to do. So basically we first have to establish what is frumpy? Like what is frumpy dressing? So frumpy dressing could mean different things to different people. So it's really about dressing in clothes that are shapeless and do not flatter you. So you could also basically call it old fashioned, right? You look older and less stylish when you're dressing in this kind of frumpy, like if you're wearing a flowy maxi skirt with an oversized shirt without a tuck and then a scarf, it's possible you're dressing in a really frumpy manner. So I'm going to take you through five of my tips to kind of pull you out of that. It's not about buying new things. It's all about how you are styling yourself and how you're putting yourself together. So we're going to start with number one. My first tip is belting it. So this is a really great example of that Amazon dress that I recently bought, did that video with you. I bought them in five different colors. So I did black, I did the hunter green, the navy, the cream and the white. And there is a shirt dress. I wanted it for summer, I wanted something easy. It was inexpensive. I think they range between, I think $35 and 44, if I'm not mistaken. They always have these random sales on Amazon and certain sizes and what have you. So that was really the price point. It was great. It, it was just the perfect dress that I was looking for for the summer that I could dress up, I could dress down. Now, if I put this dress on by itself with nothing, no accessories, what have you, it looks frumpy. There's no like real waist to it. It doesn't, there's nothing that really gives it any kind of pizzazz. So when I put on a belt and I found a waist belt at Banana Republic and I thought this is perfect because it has this elastic waist at the back of the dress. The skinnier belts, didn't cover that up and it looked kind of weird. So I found a waist belt and that really worked for me. You're cinching your waist, you're giving yourself some kind of, or your body, some kind of shape. And I find that to be very important no matter what size you are. We'll get into that in a little bit later when we're talking about one of my other tips when it comes to maybe not feeling comfortable with a belt or tucking in. So this dress to me really is a standout and it looks more designer when you put on a waist belt, if you put on a brooch or a scarf, you can do ballet flats or you can do the heels. But this is really a great example about belting something because it just totally changes the look of the dress. It goes from frumpy to up leveled within one accessory. So you can also do this with pencil skirts or maxi skirts, or you can have on a maxi dress and just belt it and have that as your real accessory call out. So that is something to really consider when you're maybe putting on something that really gives you no shape. It's just too big. It looks like a tent belted and it dramatically changes. My second tip is to wear a crop jacket. So this is a great way to make the illusion of having a waist without a belt. So if you have a maxi dress on, you can put on a crop jacket and that will give you that illusion. It's giving you that cut. So it's breaking up 
the body. Now I have bought a couple at J. Crew within the last year that are great. They're called lady jackets and I love them. I have a cream one that's tweed. I have a navy one. I actually bought two gingham ones. I have a pink one and a black one that I never wore for photo shoots. So I put them on Poshmark. They're new with tags. It didn't fit into what I was doing at the time and why I bought them. So they're on Poshmark. I'll link it below in case you're interested. But this is a really great way to not have to accessorize with the belt. Maybe you don't feel comfortable with the belt, but you can wear a crop jacket and give that illusion of cinching the waist. My third tip is unbuttoning your shirt. So this could turn into, if you, for instance, this is a J. Crew linen shirt, it can be buttoned up. So if I button this all the way up to the top, this turns into being boxy, turns into being a little stiff a little bit, you know, just too much, right? So when you want to give the illusion of not being old fashioned and not making this work for yourself and looking too tied up and boxy, you can just unbutton your shirt. This allows you now to accessorize with maybe layered necklaces. Maybe you want to throw on a scarf or what have you, but that's another thing that you can do to easily ease out of looking old fashioned dated by being able to just take down the buttons just a tad. My fourth tip is tuck it in. So having a shirt that just goes way below your waist can really look frumpy and it just doesn't do your body any service. And you know, I find this to be true a lot with men. I don't know if this is just a South Florida thing, but I've noticed it since my 20s when I used to go out to bars and clubs and you know mingling and seeing what was going on so long ago i noticed men were wearing like the button down shirts and leaving them out with their jeans and what have you it just looks like a tent i don't know why they do it i don't know if maybe one guy did it and then they all thought that was okay and then it turned into this thing it just looks terrible in my opinion it just looks terrible i always want to go over to them and tuck that shirt in and put a belt on i mean that dramatically changes the look the look looks sloppy and messy and just unkept. And then if you just tuck the shirt in and put on a belt, it is a completely different story. It just up levels that look. And I just don't know why they don't do it. I just feel like it, it just looks like I don't care, right? That, that's what I always, when I see these men do that, I'm like, they don't care. They, they just throw it on, they, they think it's okay, and they don't do any styling to their outfit. I would love to know in the comments below, do you see men doing that in your town? I'm just curious, because I, I haven't really seen it if I leave this area, if I'm like traveling, I don't really see it that much. I just see it so much down here. I don't know if it's because it's just more of a relaxed environment or just like the weather, I don't know. It shouldn't really have anything to do with the weather though, because they're long sleeve, they roll it up and they just leave it out. So tucking in your shirt, this is a great way if you don't don't feel comfortable with a belt and you feel like maybe tucking in your whole shirt would emphasize your stomach, you can tuck in the front tuck and leave the shirt out on the side. So it gives you still that vision of having a waist. So you are tweaking the style and not just leaving a shirt to just go fully past the waist and drape down. Another way you can do is tuck one side in and leave the other out. It gives it more of a modern chic feel. You'll see that all over Pinterest, doing that with jeans or with, with slacks with a button down. It's a really great way to also be able to tuck in, but not tucking in the entire shirt. My fifth tip is creating fitted clothes with a tailor. Now, you know that I talk about this a lot because I buy consignment and I never know what I'm gonna get as we just realized in my last video of my most bizarre consignment purchase yet. I don't know really what I'm gonna get if the sizes are gonna be correct or not. And I have a tailor on speed dial because they have to fit. Making sure your clothes are fitting your body is really just so important because you can have great clothes, but if they don't fit, they're not gonna be doing anything for you. You're not gonna to wanna to be wearing them. You're gonna feel like, well, it's okay, but it really doesn't fit my waist or it's too big or you know what? I just don't even wanna really deal with it. Deal with it. Go into your closet, weed out everything that does not fit and find the clothes that maybe need a little tweak. Maybe the, the waist needs to be taken in or maybe it needs to be taken out or the length needs to be longer or maybe shorter. These are things to be able to do to really give your body that stylish edge. If you are wearing clothes that don't fit you, that look too big and oversized, it's going to really give off that frumpy, I don't care, 
I'm going into the mature, like stereotypical, like clothing category. And I want you to really feel empowered to be able to dress no matter what your size. You have to figure out, is it accessories that's gonna be your calling card? Is it gonna be really beautiful jewelry, as in costume jewelry? Or is it going to be beautiful waist belts? Or what is it going to be that's going to take your clothes and really be able to get them to form to your body, to get to look really beautiful and stylish? But all you're doing is really tweaking your wardrobe. You're not buying anything new. If you don't have accessories, that is something you will have to buy. Belts great shoes or some nice jewelry to be able to do, whether you do cuff bracelets or some really nice, beautiful necklaces that are statement necklaces. I just know that this is a category that a lot of women, mature women, basically put to the side and say, you know what, does it really matter? Yes, it really does matter. It matters because not only are you showing up for yourself and putting yourself together, but you're showing up to the world and saying, I really care. Like I know what looks good on my body. I know how to tweak things whether it's with the belt or crop jacket or having a great tailor. These are things that empower women to take back their style and say, you know what? No, I'm not going to go down that path. I'm not going to just say, well, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. It does matter. And I want you to remember that it always matters, whether it's your makeup, whether it's your skincare, whether it's your clothing, it matters. So ladies, I hope you take these tips and apply them to your closet. Let me know below. Do you feel like you're in a, in a style rut? Do you feel a little like frumpy or you feel like you need a little upgrade? Let me know below. It'll help me with my next videos that I'm doing for you to really kind of give you those tips to pull you out and get you on the right path. Until my next video, I'll see you later.